another problem on formal language this question came in the gate exam 2009 see here lies the problem let l is equal to l1 intersection l2 where l1 and l2 are languages as defined below so l1 is equal to a to the power of m b to the power of m c a to the power of n and b to the power of m where mn is greater than equal to 0 that means what we are having we are having a to the power of m b to the power of m c is there we are having a okay i am just omitting this one i am having b to the power of m so that means equal number of a's and b's and then after c equal number of b's because both are having the power m okay and obviously here we will be having some number of a's and m and a are not at all related but it has been told that m n they are greater than equal to 0. So, I want to point out one point please notice if that is a single a is there prior c that is bound to have one b prior c and that that will be that uh, there will be one b after c that is mandatory if it is there. So, 2 times a 2 times b then it will be 2 times b good what about the next one we are having some number of a's we are having some number of b's we are having some number of c's but you see after c we are having nothing after c we are not having nothing that means no terminal can come after c because c to the power of k is the last obviously i j k can be void also can be zero also so they may or may not come if they come they can come for once or they can come for multiple number of times okay so that is the issue now see the strings which will be generated by l1 is equal to c only one c because you see there is no a no b so there will be no b after c and also the a is also not there so now if that is one a one b then one b must be there after c if that is one a one b so that will be one b after c and one a has come there are two a's two b's so after c there must be two b's in this way i have written some of the strings consider this l2 we are having only one a only one b only one c kappa may be there we are having a b we are having a c b c a b c and so on so in this way the things can take shape and another thing is that l1 cannot be kappa in l1 cannot be null because at least one c will be there but here it can be null so now if you take the intersection between l1 and l2 you are remaining with c because c is the only common expression or string in between l1 and l2 sets so c and which is regular so that is why l which is nothing but intersection of l1 and l2 will produce a regular so that is the answer that is the answer number b in this way when such problems will come you shall have to critically see that what are the strings they can produce and what are the similarities dissimilarities what are the constraints and from there try to form some of the strings and try to do the intersection and get the answer and put the tick on the right option i think you are getting my logic thanks for watching this video